guys welcome back to my channel just want to give a quick shout out and say thank you so much for being the first to comment on my last video so i do have a brand new nail shape as i was telling you guys in my prior video and here she is this is the extra short coffin so i'll show you guys the difference between my extra my regular short coffin and this one which is the extra short but we're going to be using these nail tips in this video i'm super excited i do have a few more different styles coming very soon um but here's what she looks like she's super cute super baby super petite <laughs> i just love how like kind of wide this um extra short coffin is um if you have wider nail beds there are definitely enough sizes in here for you but here's the difference between the extra short coffin and the regular short coffin extra short is obviously to the left so yeah i just wanted to show you guys that quick comparison um but yeah we're just going to go ahead and size these out to our nails and make sure that they fit wall to wall So as always, those are linked in my Etsy shop and the link is down below. And for our poly gel today, we're going to be using a Beatles poly gel. So I'm going to be using that and I'm also going to be using alcohol as my slip solution. Um, I did get a question on my Dappin dish. It's from TJ Maxx. So if you go to TJ Maxx, you can find like a lot of these cute crystal little things. I think they're supposed to be meant for like candles, but I use them for slip solution. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going in and I'm doing my regular, regular application method. As you can see, I'm just, <clears throat> excuse me, as you can see, I'm just going in and making sure that the cuticle area is thinner than the rest of the nails. So um, as you can see, I just play around with it. You want to make sure that you're getting all of the poly gel uh, off of around your cuticle area before curing. And you want to make sure the underside of your nail is also flushed and flat before curing as well. So as you can see, I had too much poly gel here. I just went in and I applied it into another full nail cover because we save, we reuse, reduce, recycle. <laughs> But um, anywho, yeah, super easy. I'm just going to let you guys watch me work and then I will be back for the design.
All right, so we're finished applying the full soft gel full nail covers. Now I'm going in with a lint-free wipe and some alcohol, and I'm just wiping my nails down before we begin filing. Uh, the beauty of full nail covers is that basically all the filing and shaping is done for you. So right here, I'm just going in and making sure I get all of the poly gel that may have seeped from underneath, um, from around the cuticles for my nails. Just making sure that there's no poly gel and I'm just really just sharpening up the edges. But if you have problems shaping and filing like me, shaping is definitely not for me. Like, it's just not. If you have problems shaping like I do, these are like just a game changer and they make life so much easier because like who has time for all that shaping, girl? I know I don't. And then all that dust flying everywhere, I can't. I got allergies. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going in and doing that. For my nail file, I'm using the 8080 grit nail file. This is linked in my Amazon storefront. All products that I use from Amazon are linked in my Amazon storefront, and I also link them individually down below as well. Um, but I use 8080. I don't do 100, 180 no more, girl. That's old. That's that's the free one they give you in a kit. 8080 is a game changer. If you haven't tried an 8080 nail grit file before, definitely try it. So for our um, top coat, I'm going to use a matte top coat for this nail look today. I wanted to do a matte vibe, haven't done it in a while. But yeah, I'm just going in and I am applying that matte top coat and then I'm just going to cure. All right, so for our nail design, I'm going to be using these. I got these off of Amazon. They're like stickers, and these stickers are really like stickers because you know how you get some stickers and they don't like really stick. After you apply these, you give it like, I would say five minutes, and I feel like maybe I'm crazy, but after I put it in the lamp, because I do put it in the lamp, it like, it's there. Like it's it doesn't peel off. These are really good stickers. I have on a different nail design and I've had these on for a week and only one sticker, like half of it came off. So I don't know. I think they're pretty legit. Um, yeah, I'm just doing like kind of a little French type of look and I'm using these nail tweezers that I got from Amazon as well. They um they definitely help making applying stickers way easier. But um yeah, I'll have the link to these stickers on my Amazon storefront and down below in my description as well because they're definitely worth it. They come with a whole bunch of different like sizes, shapes, and colors. They have like a rose gold, regular gold, and silver as well. So um yeah, I'm just going in with a cuticle pusher and really just pushing in those nails. And like I said, I did go in the lamp and cure them even though I don't think that's what you're supposed to do with stickers I just did it just to be extra but I feel like it helps but maybe that's in my mind Alright, so here is my cuticle oil pen. Um, I do have new ones coming very, very shortly. I'm super excited about it. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going in and applying some cuticle oil. I always say it, dry cuticles are not it, girl. Get you some good cuticle oil. But here's the final result. Super cute. I love it. I could have even like outlined my full nail. So it was like a French outline. It would have That would have been bomb too. But this is cute as well. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so, so much, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!